We're going to run through a brief demonstration of a software tool that we built for the design and analysis of the vibration isolated installation of machines and equipment. Some of you may have found this video looking for a replacement for ISOMAG software, now that ISOMAG is no longer working in Windows 10. And some of you may be brand new to this type of software. So we will try to address both groups with the explanation. To begin the analysis, the user opens a template that is provided with the software. And the template consists of two parts. There is a model of the system, which you see a part of here at the bottom of the screen. And it also contains a customizable process for analysis and reporting, which you can see a part of up here with this sequence of blocks at the top of the screen. And using this provided template, the user is able to calculate systems with up to 10 isolation levels. The number of isolation levels to be considered in the calculation is easily set by changing a single parameter, parameter in this settings block right here. Each isolation level can re be represented by one or more masses, and the position and representation of each mass can be chosen from a selection of standard geometries, it can be imported from an STL file, or you can predefine an inertia tensor. Each isolation level is mounted with isolators at the base or at the previous isolation level. The user can select up to 10 separate isolators for mounting each level, and in addition to isolators, the user has the option to add stoppers. Masses can be initialized at a preset position and orientation or at equilibrium. So let's start running through this process and you'll see that it's an automatic process. So I'll try to comment on it as we go so that you get an understanding of where we are currently in the process. We're gonna start the process by clicking on this button which will execute a Python script and will start automatically carrying out each of the algorithms contained within these process blocks. The first analysis it's going to run is a calculation of the static deflections when the system is at rest. So you can see down here in the output bar what's going on. It's running through these different blocks in the process and it's already calculated those first static deflections. One of the major benefits of this tool is that it simplifies reporting. And so the results of each analysis will be automatically reported to this Word document here, which is also fully customizable. And this is done using Python algorithms. The second analysis is to calculate the deflections with a constant acceleration at the base. And it's now reporting those results here into this document. And what you can see is that the forces are different. And of course, you can also report other results from the model. Which results are reported is completely up to you. We use Microsoft Word templates to define these tables and then connect them to the Python algorithms so that you're able to customize this report without needing to know any Python yourself. The excitations can be applied as forces or torques at the body or the foundation. And multiple studies can be carried out, calculating results such as center of gravity in different reference frames, inertia tensors, spring deflections, deflection of the center of gravity for the system at rest, under constant acceleration, or even when excited by a freely definable displacement or acceleration. This model is now running through the third analysis, the third of four, and that's to calculate the mo mode shapes. And it's now reporting those to our Word document. We're going to do one last simulation, and that's to apply a shock excitation to the base and report transient results such as deflections. And just a reminder, this process is fully customizable. So if you're using other types of analyses or you need to report other types of results, that's fine. It's just a matter of putting the process blocks in the order that you wish and parameterizing them according to what you want to see in the report. The final step of the process is nearly finished. And what you will notice is that rather than just exporting tables of static results, since we now have transient results, we're going to output some of the result windows as well, so that you can view those deflections over time. So now we've wrapped up our automatic process. I hope you were able to gain some information today about how to do uh, automatic design and analysis of vibration isolated installation of machines and equipment. If you have further questions, we'd be pleased to speak to you about it.